guys, this is Queen BJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes one and two to your other self. Okay, but before we even get started, we got a problem. Alright, so last night, I downloaded the whole episodes all on Neon so that I could just go ahead, edit them through Henbrink, and get subtitles and everything. Um, I got one that's dual audio because that was all they literally had on Neon. And for some weird reason, like, I got it with the Japanese audio and everything, but the this, this subtitles wouldn't pop up. And no matter how hard I tried, I have been sitting here for, like, almost two hours. Um, trying to, like, burn in the subtitles, and the subtitles wouldn't burn in at all. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to watch the dub for this. Just to really get the experience. Unless, whether it's Patreons or people who see this by the time this comes out next week. Um find something else besides Neon because Neon was not really being helpful today and it really like frustrated me between this and another situation I'm currently in and I hope those people you like answers my emails ASAP I mean oof and I I mean like I'm fine with watching it in dub but like it's okay and I think I might understand it a little bit more because I really know nothing about this show all I know is that I think it came out in 2012 yes no I, I don't know I don't really remember but, um, yeah, so until we get an answer, I'm just probably gonna have to watch this whole freaking series in dub until we get something, but other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. I did say that this is a slice of life, and I'm like, okay. And then you look at this, and you're wondering, how is this a slice of life? <laughs> Those astronauts. Um. But what? Wait. See, I feel like what's going to happen is the three who are currently here right now, they're not going to be successful in their mission and they're all going to die. And it's going to have to be... See? See? Oh my god. As I was trying to say, they're not going to be successful in their mission and it's going to have to, you know... The kids, these kids are gonna have to deal with this. I don't know, but that's just what I'm doing right now. So now, I mean, is this supposed to be present day? Okay, well, it looks present day because of the house, but who knows? I mean, this could be like 2020, 2021, 
maybe mid two thousands. Okay, the figure that you saw in your dream, right? <laughs> You're gonna cut yourself. Why would you keep doing that? I hate to try about that though. Okay, but hold up. You let, let's just talk about this. You like I don't know, almost cutting yourself on your with your finger with the exacto knife. Something about that's a little messed up, dude. And then you're gonna go to a cram school. I'm. Mm -mm. Mm. He seems like that one type of kid. He's like the black sheep of the group and stuff. And so I don't know. He's not likable to himself. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it can't be something about, like, aliens, is it? I mean, because it was actual human people in the first few minutes of this episode. I mean, damn, that's like the first day of summer and summer school also start. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, does he even have any physical? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. New puppy. Oh my god, this girl looks such a savage. <laughs> I 
<laughs> See, if, like, if any kid said that to Megan, oh my god, that fact. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe you could probably as well. I don't know. Okay, so I get why Haru wants to run away from home, but you, why not? Why does he want to run away from home? There, okay, but the picture of, like, what, his sister, supposedly something had to happen with that. Did his sister die, maybe, or something? Not or something. Her, his sister had to die. crazy, you're just stressed. The hell? See, you know what? This is like some Persona 1, Persona 2-ish, pers I, I don't know, I mean, um, it's worse because you got, <laughs> you got Yuri in the English class in this show, and that's all I hear. There's something about this thing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, the guy from your dream. See, okay, hold up. Don't just stand there. Why don't you just start running? I mean, that's what I would do. I'm just saying. Because if I see... Oh, my God. Okay. That was weird. You would have assumed that, like, you would have been, you know, brought to that other part of the world, too, because, you know, he seems like a main character, too. I mean, come on now. Okay, so Zyko has to be another important character as well. See?
I thought she was going to agree. I'm like, you really want juice? <laughs> I mean, stranger danger. <laughs> How can you be so sure that? I mean, that was like your first time meeting him, right? I'm crazy. <laughs> Don't be a chicken. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I didn't mean to flip the switch. <laughs> oh, the light, the blue light. I mean, okay, let's not be smart and follow this, but no one, y'all, you're going to follow it no matter what. It's just a car. Okay. I don't like his mom. Oh my god.
see all y'all gonna be taking somewhere else, and then you's gonna be running up trying to save y'all. I don't know. I mean, we got like six minutes left. <laughs> There's one. What is No, it seems like he's hurt or something. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> it, it had to be something else. Well, I mean, he's after that necklace. I remember. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, going through the graveyard is such a good idea. Why though? his other self of you? Like, ah. <laughs> okay. But then it makes you wonder if it's not only you or her, her other friends and then also 
I'm guessing, because they're, they're saying Haruka, but I think it's Haruka they're trying to say. It is also her. Does she have another self as well? Oh, there's so many unanswered questions, and this is only episode one. I mean, you know, first thoughts on this. I like it. It's good. It's interesting. But I'm just confused on it. There's so many unanswered questions. And like I said, it's only episode one, and I don't know what to believe right now. I have... It's an interesting way to start and open this show, but then when you get to the last few minutes of an episode and it leaves you with a lot more questions rather than answers, and you're sitting here, I mean, okay, because this is how, like, I felt when I first started Monogatari or when I first started Penguin Drum, and I had, like, so many freaking questions about it, and I binged, like, the first four episodes of... Did I do it? No. I know I did it with Penguin Drum. I don't think I did it with Monogatari. I think with Monogatari, I was like, let me just wait. And we'll see when my questions get answered. But, like, this, it has to, like, the freaking necklace that she was wearing, the choker as, with the dragon on it. Something about that. What, what, like, what is that supposed to do? Like, okay, why, I, I get the fact is why they're after her, but still, what, the, the necklace that she's wearing, what is the necklace for? That's the biggest thing. Is it supposed to deal with the ring circle that's around town in it? Like I said, there's so many other questions. <laughs> this is only episode one. This is a 24 episode series. I'm only going to have 12 videos on this, complete to this whole freaking series in a nutshell, but still, it leaves so many questions rather than answers and then I feel like when I go into episode two it's gonna be the same thing I'm going to probably get some questions to answer from that I've had in this first video going into the second episode but then episode two is gonna leave me with <laughs> more questions rather than answers and then it's just gonna be me this weekend thinking about this and I'm just gonna be like well I can't wait until this weekend to watch this because I'm not gonna be able to watch it till at least maybe Sunday or Monday but I mean it it's good I like the, the art style of it. I mean, I like the watercolor aspect of it, too. But, yeah, like, I would say the the way some of the characters, not all of the characters, like Haruka and then a couple others, do give me feels towards, like, will you shut up? I know you're hungry. Um, Persona 1 and Persona 2, like, specifically. This could literally be all infused by Persona. I, I really don't know. I mean, that's the only thing that I can instantly, as of right now, in like compare it to until we get further more into this show and i'm still wondering how this is considered a slice of life because if it was i mean this is a very interesting slice of life mm -hmm. very questionable slice of life but yeah i am enjoying it even though it's only episode one but yeah go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode two okay episode two and three two one go That ring has to be, I mean, it could be the freaking Magnus to some ish. I really don't know. Who knows? I feel like the show's going to go a little bit into Christianity as well, which would be interesting. But so, I got some questions about this. <laughs>
Like, okay, it could be the year that we're in is 2012, and then the year that, like, all these people are coming from could be, like, 3,000 or something, who knows, and they're just maybe coming back to the year 2012 in order to save humanity, possibly. And the key is the Hanukkah. I don't know. It could literally be anything. You mean that happens? That's on her? What in the wicked city is this? I mean... <laughs> Because I'm guessing he has to be you. Because as he said, I'm you. And I'm sitting here like, how? How? <laughs> if there is one episode in this series that goes into the future to see certain things of what transpired, 10 out of 10 would recommend, I'm just saying.
Yeah, but you just can't straight up take her, right? I mean, that's a little messed up, though. And that just disappears. And time flies away. Yeah, but we know they're going to come back. They have to. <laughs> the ghost is gone. I mean, oof. Mm-hmm. Aliens. But what do you need the dragon to the biggest thing. Okay. But then would the earth also cease to exist as well? I mean, you know, that's a good question. I'm just saying. Something not right. <sighs> Thank you. 
That is such a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Before you tell me though. <laughs> no, but still, you guys need at least an adult with you. I mean, that's something that you really don't want to talk about out loud, but... Mm. Oh my god. Please don't help me. God, I just thought the closure that his mom was gonna get someone was like, oh my god, he's gonna hit his mom. Like, please don't do that. I was like, I know your mom's being a bee, but don't do that. Wait, you're running away now? Wait! <laughs> You can't always do what your mom wants. You have to do what you want. Uh -uh. You don't want to worry your mom, do you? I mean, to me, it feels like you just want to don't really give to you at your bottom. Let me tell you 
I mean, plus you can't run away. You got the dragon on <laughs> you and they're going to find you no matter where you go. Please tell me they're not still up there. Okay. They are. <laughs> There's the kid again. And me two are there too. This some time travel as is. <laughs> what do you see? The ring again?
So, of course, they need the Dragon Court to save their world, but still, you know, without an answer question, is it also, if they don't get it, is it also going to destroy Earth? Is everyone going to cease to exist? And my answer, like, signs are pointing to yes, but as of right now, we still don't know. What is the, like, no, here's the one thing I want to know. What is the Dragon Torch supposed to do? That's the biggest thing. Like, is it just supposed to, like, I don't know. It, it has to do something with time travel, of course, because you can see it's showing things from the past, whether it's been a couple of hours or maybe even a few minutes, who even knows. But maybe it'll just revert time back to its normal way, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it is. Haruka, is she going to die by the end of this series in order for everything to be back to normal? Is everybody going to forget her? I mean, like I said, this is only now episode two. I'm still, you leave me with questions. I don't know, but she's, she's an interesting character. You is interesting as well, but you got to really feel sad for him. Like, oh my God, this kid. And I, like I said, I said, Ugh, I can't speak right now. As I said in episode one, I'm guessing his sister died in an accident, something tragic. And his mom places all this pressure on him to do well in cram school, to get into the right high school, college, whatever. And so it's not what he wants. So he's lashing out at her and he wants to run away. She wants to run away just to go see her dad again because, of course, her parents are, are divorced. So, still. But I, I get more why you wants to run away, but not as much as Haruka. Because, I mean, you have a parent who still loves you. Both of her parents loves you, loves her no matter what. With the situation of you, it feels like his mom does love him but not in a way that you feel loved. So, I mean, but like I said, he's, he feels more pressured. And so I get the fact that he would want to run away. I mean, if you are in a, if you're born into a family like that or adopted into a family like that, and if you feel like the best thing for you is to run away and be away, but the saddest thing is that you're going to find out that your parent, you know, either really cares about you in that moment or they don't. And I, I've never really met a parent who didn't care for the their children because their children are their everything. If something happens to that child of theirs, they feel devastated. Like their world is over. And some, you know, and I hate to say this, but it is true. Um, in situations parents don't feel like living if something happens to their kid they don't know what else to do that was their their rain ray of sunshine they're besides um what they do in their life but like maybe possibly their only way of living and no kid want, i mean no, let me let me change that no parent wants to bury their child at such a young age when it should be the other way around where the child should be burying the adult their parents when it's time for their parents to pass away. And I feel so bad for um, men and women who have to bury their kids at such a young age due to anything that happens in the world. But so, like I said, it leaves me with a lot of unanswered questions. It's a really interesting series, but I mean, we ain't going on until I watch the next two episodes next week. But other than that, guys, those are my reaction view towards episodes one and two to your other self. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day during the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on what day am I putting this on? Um, oh, Tuesdays. I'll see you actually next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 3 and 4. So, let me go ahead and say this real quick. If Patreons do give me an answer this weekend about finding the episodes and sub somewhere else, I will put it down. Um, I still know because typically even when if I don't put something down in the comments usually someone else comes in and gives me an answer even though I already have an answer so if I get something by this weekend whether it's Friday or Saturday or maybe even Sunday um, before this show comes out on Tuesday for everybody else I'll put something down in the comments just to say hey I got an answer don't worry about it but if not just go ahead and comment as much you like but until then I will see you guys all next time Bye.